Hello, welcome back everyone. Today's video is about the main feed. So over the past five days, I've been subbing to OnlyFans creators accounts. All the accounts have been free. The purpose of this was to find any mistakes that the creators are making, so I don't make them myself. And then the other side of the coin is I wanted to see if any creators had good ideas that I could um, emulate with my own creators, with my business. So let's get into it. These are the things that I found noteworthy and I want to share them with you today. So what is the main feed? The purpose of the main feed, why is it there? It is to show off your personality. I want to stress the fact that this is for your free OnlyFans account, a free OnlyFans account. If your account is free, this is what you should be doing. So you want to show off your personality and you want to speak to your fans by showing off your life. So what do we post to do this? You want to post everything to do with your lifestyle. You want to post gym, cooking, dancing, vlogs, and cleaning. So let's break them down. The gym. You want to wear some nice hot yoga pants, um, sports bra with your cleavage. You want to pick good angles. You want to squat. Get hot and sweaty. If you do boxer size or whatever, get nice and sweaty. Make sure the camera angle makes you look good and post it on your main feed. I'll give you an example later on how we can do a call to action for this. Next, cooking. Every man loves a woman that can cook. It, it doesn't matter if she can't cook, it's the effort. He loves seeing the effort being put in. It's the exact same thing here. Cook, make yourself look feminine, be a woman, act feminine. It's gonna prove dividends and it's allowing you to put more content onto your profile and show off that you're a caring, nurturing woman that has a very naughty side. It's just, it's a great thing to add. Next is dancing. If you like to dance or if you're a good dancer, do some dancing videos, smile, um, maybe talk in the video. Dance, express yourself, just be flamboyant, be nice, be approachable. Next is vlogs. This is something that I have never seen anyone do and it's such an underutilized tool that could be so beneficial. So the purpose of the main feed is to show off personality. The goal is for this, the fan to come onto your account, go through your main feed, and feel like he has known you for the last 10 years. If he was to speak to you, he should be saying, wow, I feel like I've known you for 10 years. Like I feel like I know everything about you. That should be the purpose of the main feed. You should show off exactly what your dislikes and your likes are, and you should just show off who you are because the more familiar he is with you and the more he knows about you, the more he's going to like you, especially if he's physically attracted to you. Next is cleaning. You can put on a nice cosplay outfit, like a nice maid outfit, do some dusting, show off your bum, do a little dance, put on a smile. It's just some things to put into your main feed that show that you're a nice, feminine, approachable, warming and caring woman, as well as having that naughty side. It's, it's just a great way of showing off who you are. Next is how to monetize the main feed. So you should be charging for your OnlyFans lives. I want to stress the fact that you should only be doing this when you have over three, 400 fans. If you're getting a 10%, um, no, sorry, let me rephrase that. So if you have 100 fans, maybe 10% of them might be online at any one time and only 2% 2% might be willing to buy. So that means two people are going to go onto your OnlyFans live. It's a lot of effort and time invested. It's half an hour, 45 minutes of your time just for two people to show up. It's not worth your time. Save it for when you have a lot of fans and more people are showing up because the percentage is usually going to be the same. It's going to be usually 10, 15, 20% of your fans are online depending on what time zone you're in and where they're from. And then it's only going to be a two, 1%, one, two percent conversion rate anyway. So save it for when you have a lot of fans, you're going to get a better return on investment. Next is group tipping for new clothing. I stress this amongst every creator that I speak to. After a month or two, you should not be investing a single penny into this business if you're a solo creator. You should be getting the fan to pay for everything, for clothing, cosplay outfits, toys, and stuff to improve your content. An example of this is, let's say we have a guy called John. He's into, he is a boob fetish and he wants you to get nipple clamps. The fact that you have not got nipple clamps and you have not done that before, and John is the guy that is going to make that happen, given the fact that he's already requested content with nipple clamps. The fact that he's buying it for you and that is a unique um, experience that you're gonna to have together. So if you relate it to real life and you have a partner and you do something in the bedroom that you've never done with someone else and neither has she, it's a nice moment and no matter what happens, that moment will always be your first 
with that person and you'll always remember it and it'll always be something good to remember it's the exact same here except the thing that is bonding you is money you're getting money out of it and he's getting that unique experience it's a win-win for the both of you and it's something to keep in mind make sure after you've got um a good foundation of fans build some loyal fans make sure they're paying for everything every bit of custom content that they want for you make sure they're buying it for you and it's it's going to help them out they're going to want to see it more and they're actually going to enjoy it more knowing that they got it for you and that it's being used on you for them it's it's a win-win next is pay-per-view for previews or with previews sorry so any content in the mass messages that aren't performing well put it on your main feed for 30 40 50 dollars do a short little promo clip if it's um if it's just a solo masturbation video and it's not performing well at all in the messages put it on your main feed do like a five second promo vid and then attach the the full clip for a pay-per-view price next how can we stand out so the biggest mistake that i'm seeing with all the creators is sub for sub i've said it in my other video a lamborghini dealership you do not walk into a lamborghini dealership and see Toyota's parked outside or in the dealership in the building you just see lamborghini you are drowned with lamborghini that's how your only fans should be when someone subscribes to your account they're subscribing because they want to see you not some girl from freaking argentina when you're from the uk it makes no sense stop doing it it just drowns out your attention or drowns out the impact that you have on that fan so let them focus on you and only you next everyone is naked everyone that i come across about 85 percent of the accounts there is a naked picture or there's a naked video they're sending out naked content in the dms and they're not they're not charging for it like you have to remember that your account is free and now you're sending free nudes to people that is not a good business model the free account is to reduce the barrier to entry so when they come to your account it's free they can subscribe once they're subscribed now they can start paying money to you so you've just broken down a wall and they've hopped over that wall easier but now you need to make money from them given the fact that they haven't paid anything to subscribe you shouldn't be giving anything away for free so you need to keep this in mind don't be giving away anything naked for free ever unless the fan is a loyal fan and he's spent a substantial amount of money on you and you're treating him better and he's a he's a loyal customer and he keeps coming back that's the only way or the only reason time that i would give something away for free that's new next is voice notes this is a feature that i see is highly underutilized it's a fantastic tool it adds so much personality and uniqueness to your channel or to your page so what could you say you could say hey guys my plan today is i'm going to the gym then i have an exam next week for college so i'm going to go to the library for two hours but i want you to write me a story if you're feeling lonely or if something happened to you this weekend if you have any news make sure you reach out to me i can't wait to hear about it um if you would like to talk to me later just message me now and i'll make sure that i'm online just for you be personal even though it's to a broad spectrum of people make it personal and make it make your voice very familiar to them it's it's a good way it takes 30 seconds a minute long max it's, it's just a great tool you don't have to be dressed up you don't have to be looking presentable it's a voice note they don't see it they just hear your voice it's a great tool you should be using it then a call to action with all your posts and make the fan want to message you about the post so a quick example i focused a bit on the gym there so a thing you could do is what could you do okay so you're in the gym you record a video of you on the quad extension if you don't know what that is it's basically where you flex up your your legs so you're you're flexing the front of your legs and your knees are moving up and down um you're going to want to do the exercise incorrectly you're not going to want to do it so you're hurting yourself but you're just going to go up on the quad extension but you're not going to go the full way for example and this is the incorrect way to do it so you're going to say in the caption of the video hey guys i was in the gym today i tried a new machine am i doing it right if i'm not doing it right can you message me any of my gym guys my muscle hunks any you could help me out please message me they are going to jump at that opportunity to do that they're going to want to feel special they're going to want to feel like they're helping you out this is the girl that they're obsessed over and now they're getting the chance to help you it's it's just a 
genetic predisposition of a man to want to help people. It's, it's just the way we're made up. We want to help people that are less uh, privileged than us. It's, we just derive great satisfaction from it. So this is a great call to action. You're doing something on purpose and you're putting in the caption to get a response or to get someone interested in the messages and you're directing them to the words, towards the messages. That's what a call to action is. You're getting uh, an immediate response from someone by calling them out, basically. Lastly, a note, final note, is OnlyFans doesn't have to be 100% sexual all the time. You have to keep in mind that some people are just lonely. They might have lost their spouse. They might be divorced. They might have kids and they just don't have the time to date people. They just want that little connection, someone to talk to at nighttime when their kids are gone to bed, but they can't leave the house. They might be able to afford a babysitter. They might want to get a babysitter. You need to keep this into, con you need to consider this. Not everyone wants to get off. Some people just want to chat. Make sure they're paying for your time. And another thing with this as well is because of this, don't flood your OnlyFans with just naked and sexual content all over it. Have something that's respectful and nice. Something nice to look at. A breath of fresh air. And the example for this that I had was one of the girls that was working webcam with me. Um, I was in charge of typing. To, I was in charge of messaging the lads. So I had the, I had the screen behind the bed. The camera was focused on the bed on her, and I was typing to all the dudes. We had three different webcam channels up at the same time. I was responsible for messaging everyone. And there was one guy. He was a fireman. He had two daughters, and he just wasn't in the mood for dating. He didn't have time. He couldn't leave his daughters. He couldn't afford, um, couldn't afford babysitters, and he just signed in every night. We were doing webcam at the same time. He signed in every night talking to the girl. He was tipping her, and all he wanted was to talk. He didn't want to get off. He just wanted a nice conversation. I used to enjoy talking to him, to be honest. He was a nice guy. He literally just wanted some company, and that's what some of your fan base is like. Another example is a guy called Sean. He was a trucker from America. He... Anytime I would try to do a sexual advance with the girl, he would just re reject it. He just wanted to talk. He just wanted a conversation. And he would tip. He would tip $50 after a 15-minute conversation. And that's all he wanted. He just wanted a nice conversation. And then sometimes we would talk for longer. He would uh, get the girl's gifts off. Get, yeah, get the girl gifts off. Only, or not only fans, Amazon wish list. And he was, he was just a nice guy to talk to but he just wanted a connection. He was just feeling lonely. So keep that in mind when you're talking to some people. They might not want the sexual side of this business. They might just want some company, but make sure they're tipping for your time. It's the exact same thing. Hopefully this video was insightful for you and that it helped. Please, if you're doing sub for sub, just please stop. Just please stop. Don't do it anymore. Get rid of all the girls on your account and start from scratch. Make sure you're the only girl on your OnlyFans feed and that you are the Lamborghini. Good luck. I'll be back with another video soon. See you later.